people of the interwebs, welcome back to Ergognica, really gold games no one cares about. I am WanderGirl108, this is not a really good old game that no one cares about. In fact, you know, it's Spyro. A lot of people care about Spyro. This is probably the least cared about installment of the original Spyro trilogy, and for good reason, I personally don't like it as much as the other two. It's like... I've noticed this happened with Jack and Daxter as well. The first game was stellar. The second game was mediocre. And then the third game tried to combine the best points of the first two games into something, you know, bigger and better. And in some ways succeeded, in some ways failed. But this is... It's not a bad game, of course. It's an old game. All old games are good. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, uh... Anyway... I did Spyro 1. That's the main reason why I have to do Spyro 2. It's only fair. I, uh... I have a new idea in mind for a format here for videos. Um... But, you know... As you can see, I've beaten this game 100% plenty of times. Um, and I will be doing that here. That's 100%, including getting the entire epilogue. That's all the skill points. Some of them I might not be getting them 100% legit. Like, I won't be in in inputting cheats or anything, but, you know. Th th there's a, a free cheat that you get at the end of the game. But you earn. I mean, I earn it. Because I'm not the best... I'm not the most skilled of gamers, so skill points aren't really my thing. But you know what? First, we have a story. And this game has more of a story than the first game. There are more NPCs and more things, which I kind of thought was a detriment in the way it was done, but whatever. Two and a half minutes in, it's about time. <laughs> Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm, somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores. Yeah, I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there is a Nork. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto angrier. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, teeth like this, and they spit fire like this. They sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! And what a coincidence, it just so happens to be Spyro. Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the... beach? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussycat? Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Why? Kill it! Kill it! Go! You imbecile! You ain't my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who is that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. 
He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! Uh, how do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? <laughs> By the way, I highly doubt any book would say that a dragon's teeth are twice as long as its claws. But whatever. Hi, Spyro! Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mom of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? Yes, we have NPCs and uh, flavor text in this game. And this game, unlike Eternal Lies, has something to flavor. I don't know why I kind of dislike it, but, you know, I guess nostalgia, partly. If you can find my friend Twitchy, he'll reward you for helping us out. Oh, thank you. By the way, these flags here, they're at the start of every level and at the end of every level, and you can burn them. Anyway, and the jewels, they got all nice and recolored, well, not recolored, but retextured, and they have a nice ringing sound when you pick them up now. Again, not sure I like that compared to the first game, but, you know, Spyro was my first game. You know, I'm always going to prefer it over anything else. <laughs> anyway, so yes, this is Spyro 2. Pretty standard. Also, they don't give you gems anymore when you kill a monster, they give you spirit particles, which will be explained later. Um, and I'll probably explain it to you before the game does. Uh, yes. So, same controls, mostly. They added a few mechanics, but we don't get to see that yet. So anyway, yes, this is Spyro 2. This is the sequel to Spyro, the first game I ever owned. And... While it has some changes, it's still it's still a Spyro game. It's still a PS1 Insomniac game. Because all they made on the PS1 was Spyro. At least as far as my understanding goes. And the plot is slightly more established, but just as ridiculous, <laughs> pretty much. But who cares? It's fun. It's a platformy, puzzly game where you pick stuff up. What more could I ask for? Me? Personally? Nothing. Most people? Probably a lot. The puzzles get more intricate, and the places... I guess... I guess the thing I dislike about there being NPCs everywhere is that it feels much less... God, I'm gonna sound like Jordan. It feels much less like a place to explore. You know? Like, in the first game, everything was just kind of there, and there was no one, and you just explored these places that had no character except for what they were. And in this game, character is given by NPCs, and dialogue, and flavor text, and stuff. And it makes it feel much less... epic, expansive, explory. Well, just thinking of the Dreamweaver's world um, in the first game. Those worlds were a lot more fun to explore than the levels in this game. Just Hi, to be honest. Spyro. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she's asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress like this. <laughs> that zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. And this, uh, this, uh, dialogue box thing is obviously completely new. There weren't even subtitles in the first game, but there weren't there weren't many conversations either. And there weren't an NPCs standing around that you could opt to talk to. You know? Dang it. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone is talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you 100 of your gems to cross. Yes, so also, new thing that I guess I do kind of like, the gems have, like, a purpose now. You're not just picking them up because it's a collectathon. You need them to get places. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again, when you have even more gems. 
How do you know my name? Still here? Why don't you help the gem cutters and they'll show you the way to Summer Forest? Uh huh. Yeah, Moneybags kind of has a reputation for being a jerk, but he's less of one in this game than he is in the next game. They kind of exaggerated that aspect of him in the next game. And hello, what's this? We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. Looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Yes, climbing is a thing, but we have to acquire the skill elsewhere. Sadly. And what that means is I can't go through every level and 100% it on the first run and, you know, have all the gems be equal, you know, have my gem count be, like, equal hundreds and stuff and, you know, not have to backtrack. I have to backtrack based on the way the game's new mechanics work. And that's probably my least favorite thing about this game, is that you can't just go through everything and get it at once. You have to come back eventually to 100% the game. And honestly, the reward for 100%ing the game isn't very good. Um, it's not more gameplay. It's just, well, it's a free cheat. To get basically. a good look around, hold down the triangle button. Try using triangle to look around this cave. But you know, you can see they put a little more work into the into the graphics. Ugh. <laughs> No more treasure chests and cement chests anymore. Now we have baskets and glass vases. Why? I don't know. So anyway, as you've seen in the description, and as I mentioned at the end of my last Let's Play, I'm gonna be trying a much shorter um, layout back here you yeah this is basically the first world so the enemies don't try to attack you well the big ones do but the little ones just run around and make noises at you anyway so yeah i'm gonna be doing a different thing where every level is a video and that can mean that some of these videos might take like five minutes maybe even less this one's taking a long time because introduction and cutscene and you know game and then more cutscene after this is going to happen. Um. Oh, I'm talking myself hoarse. Hoarse. Nay! I'm sorry, that was awful. Anyway! So yeah, um, much more videos, much shorter, but the problem is that because you can't get everything in a level, well, in all of them, most of them you can, but there's always gonna be one or two where you need something from the next place. <laughs> Can't get up there from here. Um, so because of that, what I'm gonna do is the hub worlds also um, they will require I'm sorry, I can't think. There are hub worlds in this game, and this is not one of them. This is a level that you get to from a hub world, which is an interesting way to start, I think. But, anyway. Great! The Superfly power-up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. Yeah, now there are power-ups, too, instead of just... You know, you can fly in the flying levels, and... You can breathe better fire when you find a fairy, and there are supercharged ramps. No, now we just have these power-up things that can be anywhere and anything, really. Which is neat. Again, really not sure I like it, but... You know, it's neat. Adding mechanics is neat. I shouldn't have done that loop-de-loop -loop at the start there. There we go. Not too hard. First bonus mission. Thanks for helping me light the lamp spiral. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. It's a very interesting orb thing, by the way. Yeah, so there, there's... 
there are three things to collect now, and you know, the first two orbs and gems are things you can just go around and find or earn. Well, you can't earn gems. But um, the third thing I'll show you in a bit. And let's go up here and grab this. And I'm sorry we didn't get to see the text that explained why the gem lamps needed to be lit. It, it's it's an outdoor, like, sports arena or something, as far as I understand it. I, I don't remember. It's been so long since I even read that. And that's another thing. There's going to be flavor text that I won't be able to get just because I'm too good at this game. <laughs> Not to brag. It's just mostly practice, really. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> Spitting things is also a thing in this game. You can pick up a rock in your mouth by just walking up to it. To spit it out, press the circle button. <laughs> yeah. Not too tricky to get. Again, tutorials. <laughs> My shooting! Follow me to the next lizard. Yeah, and there are gonna be, you know, many challenges, or side quests, I guess, like this, throughout every level. There's just... There's less emptiness, I guess. And for that, they were trying to go for more personality, I think. More character. But I think they kind of took away from it, to be honest. See if you can spit all the way to that lizard! Um, when spitting stuff at something, you kind of sort of auto-target, like so. See how it went kind of to the left there? But I, I prefer just using the triangle button to aim because that's a thing now too to that lizard up high, you'll have to aim press and hold the triangle button to aim then press circle to spit like I just said of course triangle button is also the talk to button so you have to make sure you don't do that by mistake yeah I'll come after you in a minute buddy I just realized I forgot something so, yeah. Just generally not as fond of this game, but it's still Spyro. And it's still fun. And, you know, there's still stuff to find and solve and things. I guess the puzzles are more puzzly, since you have, like, special objectives. Instead of just, like, get to these places and explore the place. But that's what I don't like. Really, is that it's not just explore the places anymore. Again, totally sound like Jordan, but... Oh, he waits for you. <laughs> I just I just registered that. Oh. Yeah, this video is going on a lot longer than I thought these would. Time flies when you're playing games. Also, there is, like, an arc to spitting that you have to take into account of physics. <laughs> By the way, lizards eating crops of gems, because that makes sense. Wait. What do you say here? You can pick up a rock in your mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, I take time to aim, so I might be a little slow at times. Like I said, I'm not really the most skilled gamer. I'm never going to claim to be. It's just practice. Practice and experience that gets me through these games now. Save my crop of gems from the lizards! Here, take this orb! Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday! So also we're getting some backstory now about how fairies are leaving orbs everywhere. What do they mean? What are they for? We'll find out later. Oh wait, what does he say? That's another thing with these Let's Plays. I love finding all the flavor text and showing it off. 
Even though I know that kind of leaves no reason whatsoever to play the game, but... I guess my thought is that with the games I play on this channel, except for Croc 2, they're gonna be fun enough that even if you know it, you know, front to back, and if you know everything in it, it's still gonna be worth playing just for the funness. You can have as many rocks as you like. For no reason. So yeah, I, I guess that's, I guess that's kind of what I'm trying to say with this channel is, you know, there are games that are good enough and fun enough and, you know, tight enough to play and everything that, I thought I saw a basket down here, that even if you know all of it and you see all of it, it's still fun to play. And this game is that, so, you know. It, it qualifies for Ergognica. At least for the first half of it. Okay, now, one, I like to get the gems first, and two, whenever I get to the end of a level, I like to just burn the flag like a, Spiral, thanks for helping you know, finish line thing. Visits. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Yeah, that's thing number three, talismans. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. You say Step something through the portal next to me to go to Summer Forest. Okay. Yeah. And there's going to be another cutscene or two, so... Oh no! Hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi. I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro is going to help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Good question. Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talisman? If you come across any orbs, they're important too, but I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Okay, so that's actually going to do it for this video. Um, in the next episode, I'll show you... Oh, it's going to be rocky at first, figuring out how to divide these videos up. Um... But all I know is that this is where this one ends. So, yeah, um, a bit more of a story to this one. A bit more, well, just a bit more to it in general. But, um, 